Hey everyone, exactly one year ago today I split this bamboo plant and in today's video I'm going to be updating you on how the original plant's doing, how the transplanted plant's progressing and how to maintain your bamboo plant when it's at this stage. Let's get to it. So here is the original bamboo plant. As you can see it's really thickened up and we've got some immense dense cover there. Since I split it one year ago I haven't done any work on this so it's been untouched for one year. So you can see we've got these overgrown areas but the root barrier has done a fantastic job. There are no roots or rhizomes that have come forward. As you can see they are still shooting up. If you remember these shoots here were about that size when I did the original video and now they've thickened up nicely and filled in that gap in the middle there. Also all these areas here have completely stopped where the root barrier lies there. Even though it's little shoots we can focus in there, that black little dot there coming out. The root barrier, if you remember, comes along this line and goes right in the front there. So that plant's not going to come forward anymore onto the grass area. It's still sending lots of shoots. As you can see under here, got these rhizomes running over the ground, which will then pop up somewhere further back there. So I left this plant completely alone so I could show you guys what it looks like at this stage after one year of not really doing anything to it. Apart from picking up the odd leaf under there. So you can see that the bamboo is actually pretty easy to maintain once you establish that root barrier in there. What I'm going to be doing with this original plant is showing you how to cut these guys back and keep it nice and tidy for the rest of the year. So what I'm going to be doing is thinning out the main stems in there and the big clumps as it's a little bit too dense and taking off any side shoots that protrude out and aren't in the right place. Now if you have a bamboo like this but it isn't as dense, then I would recommend tying these side shoots in to other bamboo stems in there to help thicken it up because it does shoot from back there. So you would be able to bend that right back in. However, where this is so dense, I don't need to do that in this situation. So what we're gonna do is assess the bamboo to see which stems we want to be taking out. So straight away this is a key one that needs to come out. Now if it wasn't as dense as I said before I could weave or tie this one in but it's super dense and I need to thin it out anyway. So follow the, the cane on the stem down which brings us right down to this one here. I just want to clear that area so you've got a nice viewpoint of where you're going to cut and we're going to be using Nice clean sharp pair of secateurs or loppers if you struggle to cut through the bamboo. And we're going to be cutting with the blade facing to the ground, like so. And we're going to be cutting, I'll just cut that little bit off so I get a bit of leverage in there. And we're going to be cutting at an angle, just like this, facing the ground. So then, take that out. You see that nice clean sharp angled cut there and when the rain hits that it just runs off rather than rotting and going down into the rest of the root system there so clear that out. That's what we're going to be doing to the rest of them.
something I forgot to mention is also take out the dead ones as well. So you are able to cut these sort of shoots back. You either go right back in and cut it there, or you're able to just cut it back just in there sort of thing. Just so you get a nice flush finish. Especially as this is by an area of grass. Don't want it to overgrow. Now, just looking at this left side of the bamboo, I've noticed that this rhizome here is trying to creep over. So, as the root barrier is there, that might shoot up or it might come over past this root barrier. So the best thing to do for this is to pull it up and snap it off. And then it's not going to come over the root barrier here. So as you're going through, do check for any of those rhizomes coming over. Something else to prune off are these little dead bits that sometimes occur on the bamboo. It doesn't really do anything for the plant, but aesthetically it really improves the whole overall green look that you're going for. And when you are pruning your bamboo, one thing to watch out for is not to cut the end off, because otherwise it will not shoot up. So do not top a bamboo or else it will look pretty awful. So the bamboo's all cut back now. I've really given it a good thin out. Exposed all these stems. So there is another pruning technique on bamboo where you completely remove all the lower branches off these stems. So it's just the bamboo canes there. And then you have the foliage on the top, which is really quite effective. However, here I'm happy to just leave it as a mix there and um, within a year, you know, it'll thicken up and we'll have that leaf cover back over those canes there. But it's really nice and tight to the line with minimal overhang. So really happy with that one. The next thing we want to do with this bamboo is clear out the leaves from below the base, give it a good water and then a mulch on top. If you don't water or it hasn't rained before you mulched, you're effectively trapping the dry soil within there and it will take a lot longer for the rain to penetrate through the mulch and then get into the soil before it hits the roots. So it's always a great tip to water before you mulch. The reason why I'm going to give this bamboo a good water and a good mulch is I've taken quite a lot of the bamboo plant away and I want to help replenish the nutrients and moisture it needs to bounce back after this prune.
and that's it nice and watered lovely thick layer of mulch there i think i might top dress the grass there just to fill that bit in that's going to give it a massive boost and really help it recover after that prune as you probably noticed i mainly watered at the top of the bamboo and mainly because we're working on a slope here the water is going to wash down to the other plant further down but i watered before applying the mulch and after and that's because the mulch was quite dry it's from an old compost pile that i have which isn't covered and with this hot weather it's really just dried up so giving it good water enables it to hold its structure and when we get rain in the future it's not just going to wash away so looking further up this is where I transplanted the bamboo last year as you can see some of them have taken absolutely fantastically super super healthy really happy plants this one's nice and thick at the base and I haven't touched these since so the only thing that I would have done was watered them because it was hot at this time last year like it is now just to help them get established then other than that they've just taken on their own which is really really promising now the only issue I've seen is this one here gap in between these two doesn't seem to have taken now I'm unsure as to why I can make a few educated guesses that potentially there wasn't enough roots connected to these three stems or maybe because it was just the three stems the higher chance of survival rate is the larger clumps that you put in and obviously on this long stretch I wanted to maximize the amount of plants to put in so with that has obviously lost me this one however it was fine last year so potentially over the winter it might have caused it just to say I've had enough you may also remember there was a single stem here now that one didn't have a huge amount of roots on it once again and i took them out last year about a month or two after transplanting them because it was quite obvious it just wasn't going to take i think it just came off one of the clumps as i was splitting it and i thought i'd just give it a go there but as you can see the other ones are doing superb so these are going to transport across and fill in like we have here or even I could just dig that clump up to fill in the missing gap there or potentially split one of these larger clumps however I do have this bamboo elsewhere in the garden so probably what I'll do is split that one to fill that gap there still gives me a nice enough screen even with the fatality with these new lower shoots they'll soon reach up to the top and really thicken that out so I imagine this time next year it'll be nice and thick at the top there after cutting these two down you can see they're both still alive so there is still hope for this one hopefully we'll get some new shoots there but because the others are so much more mature and thick I will certainly be splitting a bamboo elsewhere in the garden to fill this gap so I've just dug out the one that wasn't looking too good but it's actually got quite a healthy root system there so I think it's probably just a shock of the winter that's uh, stalled it back sort of thing so I'm going to keep this one I'm going to plant it further down where there's a, a small gap where the singular one didn't work um, but I'm going to certainly replace the, the one here with that new one so I've just split this bamboo from another plant in the garden to fill that gap and I just wanted to bring you in to show you that even when you have these kind of dead stems don't just dig it up and throw away because as you can see down here there's a nice little shoot coming up there so what we're going to do is blade against the ground and cut just there leaving enough on there for that shoot to go off so even when you have dead shoots like that there certainly can be life below them and there we have it the middle bamboo is planted now so it ties in really nicely with those ones just had to get some twine 
to tie it in a little bit because the position it was in before had a little bit overhanging so I want them to shoot up now by pulling them in with the twine it will train them to grow straight so it will thicken up the gap in between there and with the smaller one I've managed to plant it just in there so hopefully that will reshoot and fill in similar to what's happening along here Once again, the root barrier here has prevented the bamboo from growing forward into the grass. So all that's left to do here is to cut off any of the overhang, give it a good water and a good mulch. Really happy with the end result there. It's going to be a nice bamboo screen wall. That's it for this video, hope you found it useful and entertaining. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one.